Our third presenter is Oladapo Ugonbodide, who is a student in mechanical and aerospace engineering. The title of his 3MT presentation is Energy Efficient Drones, Lessons from Nature. Oladapo is, as you might expect from someone in mechanical and aerospace engineering, a fan of airplanes and motoring shows like Grand Tour, but he's also a fan of studying mythology, which points to his wide interests, I think. So, ready, set, pitch. Humans. Some say we are the pinnacle of evolution, the perfect animal. But is this assertion really true? If this assertion were true, the old study of bio-inspired design wouldn't exist. Bio-inspired design has been applied in diverse fields, from design of cars to design of aircrafts, to how we dress, to even how we build our houses. Today, I'm here to talk about bio-inspired design in drones. Yes, drones. A couple of years ago, mentioning the word drone painted an image of military personnel at the Pentagon controlling aircrafts remotely. Today, drones have become ubiquitous. They've been used in simple scenarios like taking a selfie to complex scenarios like looking for a missing child in the wilderness. In all of this scenario, there is a common need to fly longer or cover more distance, or even do both. This is where my research comes in. Fortunately, nature has shown that there is a better approach to flying than what is currently the norm. This approach is known as periodic locomotion. An example of a bird that exhibits this behavior is the albatross. The albatross is a large migratory bird that covers over 100,000 miles in flight annually. This is way more than what our cars cover in six years, not to talk about the gas cost. Periodic locomotion in simple terms means that you use energy in a short amount of time to gain speed or night and then glide until a lower limit in speed or night is reached before flapping again. This is the albatross's evolutionary response to energy savings. Can this be applied to drones? The answer is yes. In my research, my aim is to use this concept to look for more energy efficient ways for drones to fly. Results from my research shows that using this method gives about 23% to 50% improvement over current methods of flying. What is the real world application of all of this, you may ask? I'm glad you asked. Less energy use is greener and will lead to millions of dollars in savings as the current economic impact of drones in the US is about $13 billion and it's projected to grow to $83 billion in the next couple of years. Apart from the economic importance, think about delivering medications and other essential healthcare services to the 3.4 billion people in rural areas. And our drones that have learned to fly efficiently from nature can fly to these areas, delivering all these supplies, saving the lives of both the old and the young. Thank you.